At least 27 people, including high school students, have been killed and dozens more injured in a car bomb explosion that rocked Afghanistan yesterday. The incident took place in Puleam, the capital of eastern Lugar province. The bomb detonated close to a guest house where students were reportedly staying. The head of Logan's Provisional Council says some of those killed were high school students preparing to sit for university entrance exams. And the blast struck just as guests were breaking their fast observed during holy month of Ramadan. The explosion caused widespread damage in the area. Witnesses on the spot said they saw roofs collapse and victims being trapped under the debris. As per local health authorities, over 60 people have been rushed to the hospital, most of them students. Legada is quartered by Nurban de Karkevi, Rabasi, no Nepigusi Dike, but Nord Sumra, if the Daira Raporta, no Nord Nepigusi, nor Sumra, Zahman, Kepaidasia, Kunur Tulba Shaydan. It was not immediately clear who was behind the blast. No one has claimed responsibility for the bombing so far. The Afghan government has blamed Taliban for the attack. When asked, a Taliban spokesperson said, they were looking into the matter. Embassies in Kabul have condemned the attack. The European Union's delegation tweeted, and I quote, In the holy month of Ramadan, horrible news on a car bomb in Pulia, Lugar province, killing and injuring innocent civilians, including students. This is a tragedy for the whole country, and our thoughts go to all affected. This senseless violence must stop, I quote. The blast came a day before U.S. military formally begins to withdraw its remaining troops from Afghanistan. Afghanistan has seen a surge in violence since U.S. President Biden announced U.S. troops would withdraw by 11th of September. Biden's decision angered the Taliban, who has previously signed a deal with former President Trump that all American troops will leave Afghanistan by the 1st of May, if the terrorist group held on to their end of the deal. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.